Oh, oh, oh. Thomas here. Before we start, I would just like to tell everyone that this video is not made for kids, it is for the fans and adults. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the feckin' video. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. One day, Thomas was at the junction when Gordon shuffled in with some freight cars. Phew, remarked Thomas. What a funny smell. Can you smell a smell? I can't smell a smell, said Annie. A funny, musty sort of smell, said Thomas. No one noticed it till you did, grunted Gordon. It must be yours. Not long ago, he had fallen into a dirty ditch. Thomas enjoyed teasing him about it. Annie, Clarabelle, do you know what I think it is? It's ditch water. Before Gordon could answer, Thomas puffed away. Annie and Clarabelle could hardly believe their ears. He's dreadfully rude. I feel quite ashamed. I feel quite ashamed. He's dreadfully rude. And to Thomas they said, You mustn't be rude. You make us ashamed. But Thomas didn't care a bit. That was funny. That was funny, he chuckled. He felt very pleased with himself. Annie and Clarabelle were deeply shocked. They had great respect for Gordon, the big engine. Thomas left the coaches at the station and went off to a mine for some cars. Long ago, miners digging for lead had made tunnels under the ground. Their roofs are strong enough to hold up cars, but not the weight of engines. A large notice warns them not to enter the area. Danger! Engines must not pass this board. Silly old board! thought Thomas. He had often tried to pass it, but had never succeeded. But this morning he had made a plan. The fireman went to throw the switch. Now for my plan, thought Thomas. Bumping the cars fiercely, he jerked his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I'm sunk. And he was. Oh dear, he said, I am a silly engine. And a very naughty one, too. I saw you, said Sir Topham Hatt. Please get me out. I won't do it again. I'm not sure. We can't lift you out with a crane. The ground's not firm enough. Hmm, let me see. I wonder if Gordon could pull you out. Yes, sir, said Thomas, but he didn't want to meet Gordon just yet. Down a mine, is he? <laughs> Laughed Gordon. What a joke! Boop, boop. Little Thomas, we'll have you out in a couple of puffs. Strong cables were fastened between the two engines. Are you ready? Heave! It was a lot harder than they all thought. At last, Thomas was free. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Thomas. That's all right, Thomas. You made me laugh, replied Gordon. I'm in disgrace. So am I, said Thomas. Why, so you are, Thomas. Shall we form an alliance? 
You help me and I'll help you. Right you are, agreed Thomas. Good, that's settled, rumbled Gordon. And buffer to buffer, the allies puffed home. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. 